is sustainable development sustainable development merges three important areas social goals environmental goals and economic goals into an integrated single perspective the integration of two of the three pillars of sustainable development leads to the concepts of eco justice socio efficiency and eco efficiency the notion of sustainable development has been inspired by the ongoing need for an assurance throughout the world for individual and group opportunities to improve the quality of life the quality of life is a subjective notion that depends on the perspective of the person or group answering these questions as to whether their environmental situation is the same or better than that available to the previous generations in spite of these different interpretations sustainable development does represent the quality of life and in how to improve that quality of life sustainability is the ability to sustain life at the highest possible quality means that every generation has the ability and is responsible for realization of the highest quality of life by taking all opportunities for improvement the principle of sustainable development is to be considered in every relation to every environmental problem fundamental areas of dispute and discussion concerning sustainability are One, the difference between weak and strong sustainability. Number two, the question of the extent to which ethical requirements for an intergenerational equity is to be supplemented by the requirement for intergenerational equity, particularly between the population of the Earth's poorer and richer countries. Finally, the significance of the idea of sustainability for a global society. Part of pluralistic world order interprets social development as the main objective of policy, whereas guidelines for a new world order view sustainability to the objectives of peace, improving human welfare, democratization, and emancipation with empowerment. In practice, a balance between these and other objectives is important and necessary for government to survive. The following problems represent some of the critical issues that are to be addressed. The vulnerability of life and global warming has been highlighted by the breakdown of the stratospheric ozone layer and the accumulation of gases that cause the greenhouse effect. The destruction and waste of biodiversity through damage and poisoning of natural living spaces as well as direct eradication by human activities. Change in the quality of the ocean is because of pollution, overfishing and rising temperatures in the seas caused by use of water for energy generation processes and in the industrial processes with consequences for coral reefs and sea current. Neglect of environment and social standards in world trade is because of different environmental and social regulations which permit lower standards to be followed in developing countries. The clearing of forests particularly in the humid tropics. The degradation of soils through overuse, erosion, desertification and sealing of the land surfaces for human habitation. transport and commercial activities the exhaustion of potable water supplies in the dry zones of the earth and the ever increasing expenditure on enhancing the quality of drinking water awareness of the issue is an important starting point for anyone considering the links between business and the environment the search for credible and justifiable answers to these questions depend on the application of considered thought dialogue and teamwork to help develop understanding of the reasons behind these different perspectives and movement towards their practical resolution business management needs to build its own business strategies based on these three types of strategy strategic environmental management is the positioning of a business to take advantage of environmental challenges it is the attempt to make those challenges into profit making opportunities rather than threats that curtail business operations and prospects it is centered on strategies of competitors on trends in demand for product services and development of markets 
it highlights the various spheres of business like political legal economic technological and so on while keeping in mind that nearly every management decision has long term implications if environmentally oriented goals are integrated into strategic processes the potential for successful environmental management increases successful environmental management leads to reduced environmental impact from the activities of a business associated with entry maintenance and exit from markets the relation between planned and realized strategies assume that the specif- that the specification of environmental goals and strategies is integrated into the overall process of strategy formulation now in real life as you can see from the diagram such ideal relations is not possible a lot of times the environmental goals are just formulated as basic add-ons to the main business strategy and simply made to fit in in some cases environmental goals that have been established through the business strategy are only loosely coupled that is to say the coordination between long term business goals and environmental activities remain totally separate as the two are regarded as being separate to each other the changes in one are not perceived to change in the other then there are some businesses which have no explicit strategy for achieving environmental goals at all so now let us see what really happens so in practice environmental goals enter strategic goal development in the following ways they result from explicit legal requirement are implicit within the personal procedures and the intentions of the individual executives and are not open to examination they are considered as cost reduction factors they are explicitly stated in voluntary guidelines to help demonstrate environmentally re- responsible to society they are formulated by the chance as part of the business performance profile now what should be the ideal aim the aim is to integrate environmental goals within the strategy planning process in order to link them to possible low cost leader or differential strategies that can produce a competitive advantage for the business while maintaining or improving credibility in the eyes of the stakeholder however realizing strategies can not only ref- reflect strategic planning but also affect by emerging strategies as you can see in the figure emerging strategies echoes idea that change through continuing research and data collection whereas some goals and projects are quietly forgotten other procedures emerge and drive strategic development often before they are officially integrated in the strategic planning process grassroots activities and suggestions for improvement made by committed employees can be included here over the years we see that multinational corporations have integrated sustainability into their options operations strategy and supply chain management in order to fully protect our natural resources clean up our dirty energy system and turn the corner on global greenhouse gas emissions in time to avoid the worst impacts of climate change to align corporate sustainability operations strategy and policy Voluntary corporate efforts have made a difference and will continue to be a critical pathway for innovation. Businesses have taken the next leadership step, helping to shape and support the smart regulatory policy, the changes required to persevere the natural system in which people, communities and companies thrive by engaging in sustainability in a meaningful way. Can companies can shape these policy de- decisions and others to benefit the economy and the environment